There's been great conversation today about this bill, this innovation bill, this bill to try to look at how we deliver government services for the state of Minnesota and the impact that it has on the families and the people who work for the state of Minnesota. But there are, there's another group of people in Minnesota also, and those are the people who are supporting us through their taxes, through their livelihoods, through everything that they are doing. Senator Tomasoni mentioned about the morale of the workers of the state of Minnesota. What about the morale of those who are supporting a government that they feel is bloated, is heavy, is, that they are not able to sustain? What about those businesses who have already implemented many of these innovative ideas to government? They've already done these things in their businesses. They are trying to survive. Many businesses have made the statement that they have cut to a level that they just hope to get through to the next year until the economy turns around, until the economy comes back and can once again grow and sustain a higher volume, a higher level of business, more employees. That is the state that we are in as a state of Minnesota. We need to find a way to not overburden those families who are trying to stay in their homes, those, fam those business owners who are trying to employ people and keep them employed. We need to find a way to make this situation work, to just get through until we can once again grow the economy. I think that's what this is talking about. This, this particular omnibus bill is talking about how do we innovatively look at delivery of government services in a way that the people of Minnesota can continue to support and, and stand by. I, I believe that this is a very important bill. I think it has some very challenging things for, for the employees of Minnesota and their families. We know that. But we're all in this together, we need to be in this together, and we need to find a way to get to a point that we have a balanced budget that the state of Minnesota can support.